In this video, I'm going to be showing you a comparison of all these Scorched Earth creatures in Ark Survival Evolved compared to Ark Survival Ascended. First off on the list, we have the Jugbug. This one, I think, has a really noticeable difference in Ark Survival Ascended. Of course, in the comparison right here, it looks a lot darker, but it looks a lot more detailed as well. The water is like really dark, as you can see. Before, it was like a bright, luminescent blue, and now it's kind of like a dark blue, which, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. It's definitely a lot more detailed. Then we have the vulture right here. Not really much to talk about here. They just inflated it, and the feathers, of course, look pretty nice on here with Ark Survival Ascended, but like I said, there's not too much to talk about with the vulture. It does look pretty good, though. Then we have the Jerboa. This one is quite a little bit of a noticeable difference. The fur is a lot more detailed, especially compared to the Ark Survival Ascended version. I think it's a little bit noticeable, a lot more noticeable than something like the vulture. Uh, you can definitely see the differences there, and I think it looks pretty good. After that we have the Merlotops. This is one of the best starter creatures in the game for Scorched Earth and it's had a bit of an upgrade. The thing is it's like glitched with its legs where it's like really low to the ground. I'm not sure if they're going to fix that or if that's intentional because it looks really weird when it walks. But we got some close-ups here. As you can see it does look pretty good. The details are quite good. And then after that we have the Mantis. The Mantis is obviously a really cool creature. And I noticed more like upgrades in the animation and not as much in the like looks of it of course it, de it is still got more detail of course and i'll do a close-up here of its face so you can kind of see the details up close and it's not really that big of a difference but to be fair the mantis was already pretty cool looking to begin with so they didn't really need to do too much upgrades there unlike some other creatures which you'll notice have some pretty big differences in some areas and then we have the Rock Elemental. This one has quite a noticeable difference right off the bat, and that is the glowing orange eyes. I think it's a cool touch and makes it look a lot more menacing in the game. Also, a close-up of its face here. If you look at its teeth, they're really messed up, but they fixed that completely, and now they actually look like normal teeth, and they're not completely busted, so that is a cool change. And then I got the shot from its back there, and as you can see, it's a lot more detailed. Next, we have the Thorny Dragon, which I think looks really good in Arc Ascended. Once we go over to the Arc Ascended version right here, as you can see, I think it looks really good. The lighting on it, you can definitely tell the difference with all the scales and stuff. And when you get a close-up, you notice the Arc Survival Evolved version, the eyes are completely messed up. And on the Arc Ascended version, it's fixed. They're completely rounded, and they're not, like, at sharp edges. Like, I don't think eyeballs are supposed to do that, but they fix that, and that is really nice, and they look great. And then we have the Death Worm. This one is not any, like, crazy noticeable differences that stood out to me other than just being a little bit more detailed so not really too much to say there but the death worm was already awesome looking so they just kind of like fleshed out some of those smaller details and got it fixed up next we have the wyverns wyverns of course is one of my favorite creature in the entire game so i'm definitely excited to see this and i've noticed the differences quite a bit mainly in the face area i'll do some close-ups in a second but you can see it looks great in arc ascended already but yeah they managed to fix the face up you can see it right here it's quite messed up when you look at it but with the Arc Ascended version, it's completely fixed and it looks extremely detailed. It's absolutely great. I'm glad they fixed it. And then we have the Lightning Wyvern as well. This one, I think, had the biggest noticeable change, at least for me. I don't really know how to pinpoint exactly what it is, but it just looks like a little bit different to me. Maybe it's those wings like that are spawning in like orange a lot. I've noticed more orange colors spawning in with the Lightning Wyverns. And of course, the face has been fixed completely too, and it looks great. And then we have the Poison Wyvern, which I think was probably the coolest looking out of all the Wyverns. And it probably still is with all the upgrades on Ark Survival Ascended. Of course, same problems with the face here I was noticing, and they're all fixed, and it looks great. Extremely detailed. I mean, the Poison Wyvern just does look really good with, like, those poison things on the side. And it's got, like, the snake tongue that's, like, split in two. And it's extremely detailed now with Ark Ascended, and it makes it look even better. And then we have the Lymantria, or the Moth. This one is a little bit noticeable in the fur and the wings as well but not like crazy differences i'll do a close-up here so you can see just the detail gone up a little bit more especially in the fur it definitely looks a lot more detailed there mainly next we have the phoenix i think this is one is easily the biggest difference you can notice in them they just look completely different as well as the phoenix has new color regions for the fire as well this one spawned in with like red fire and then you can also get them in the blue fire as well which you probably saw in the trailer and then lastly, we have the Manticore boss. This one is a really cool looking one. I noticed in the face, there's like a red kind of like blood patch. I don't know if it's blood, but kind of makes me think that it is. Like it's been like eating something and it's getting all bloody or whatever. But it does look pretty cool. The fur is a lot more detailed as well. So the Manticore does look pretty cool. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye.